Romero, he's an awesome dude, he's on your PC He likes to make reviews for the movies you see And if you want to sub his channel, take it from me He makes us all right to a big surprise and probably hates you Romero Movie News, Romero Movie News, Romero Movie News, Romero Movie News Hey there guys and gals, it's me Romero for RM and today I've got to review for Marvel's Ant-Man. They've done studies, you know. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. Now honestly, I wasn't that interested or excited to see this film because after director Edgar Wright exited this project, any interest or excitement that I had for this film left with him. But I saw this movie on a whim to be honest and just to see if Marvel could pick up the pieces and still deliver a great film without director Edgar Wright. And I could safely say to everyone watching this review, it's not as great as The Winter Soldier but it's not as bad as The Incredible Hulk. This movie finds some sort of middle ground with me where the visuals and the action sequences and the concept is executed greatly, but then things like the plot and the story and the characters are so rushed and half-assed that you can't help but not ignore that aspect of the film. A great example with this has to be Paul Rudd's Ant-Man character who feels so one-dimensional and rushed that at moments I didn't even believe half of the dialogue he was spewing out of his mouth. His character just feels so rushed and half-assed like they're just doing it so he can be a part of civil war and introduce him into this cinematic universe that they've set up. On top of that, the story just all around feels like it's coming out of nowhere and Marvel's just pulling this stuff out of their butts and trying to make a good movie. I mean, the plot all around just is so blatantly rushed and so forced that you can tell Marvel was having issues when it came to picking up what was left of Edgar Wright's script. Add on to the fact that Paul Rudd basically shadow directed this film through the production and just, I don't know, his character in this movie didn't feel that unique to any other characters we've met like in Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy or in the Avengers, you know, this movie, Paul Rudd just felt like he was playing Paul Rudd, but more serious and less funny, I guess. And then of course you got Michael Douglas and Evangeline Lilly's characters in this movie who also at times feel very rushed and half-assed and some of the things they do really don't make a lot of sense and that's saying something about a Marvel movie. On top of that, the villain in this movie, the Yellow Jacket, is just comes out of nowhere. He's also your stereotypical billionaire business villain, you know, the whole I'm here to save the company from bankruptcy by creating a weapon and then I'm gonna go crazy and use the weapon to prove that I'm right and yeah, it just feels so one-dimensional. Though there is a bit of saving grace in this movie with the great visuals in using the whole him shrinking and regrowing aspect of the film, that was actually pretty awesome to see. And there are some awesome action sequences in this film that were filmed great in IMAX, which I got the privilege to see this film in IMAX, and I thought it was sh shot pretty well, and a lot of the visuals, like I said, were pretty spectacular. On top of that, actor Michael Pena in this film actually steals a lot of moments moments in the film and I feel he was the funniest character in the entire movie and I genuinely laughed out loud at some of his dialogue. I thought he was he was hands down one of my favorite characters in the film. So all around Ant-Man is an enjoyable film for the most part but when it comes to its plot and story and character development it feels extremely rushed and half-assed almost as if Marvel didn't know exactly what they were doing with Edgar Wright's script but is it a good Marvel movie? Uh, it's hard to say. At the very least, I can say that Ant-Man is a harmless Marvel movie in order to introduce this character into the cinematic universe. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed my review for Ant-Man. Leave me your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the film. Did you like it? Did you love it? Or were you like me and said... Um... Uh... Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot what I was gonna say. What was I saying? Anyways, I've been Romero for our men, and as always, I've got your back, so you're on track. See you guys next time.